Hello, this is Frank of Simply Bananas. Welcome back. Above my head, you can see some Cavendish bananas that are ready to be harvested. We're going to take them down, so let's give it a start. All right, this is our Cavendish banana. Our plan, this is the plan. Remember, there are no second takes in uh, harvesting bananas. You can't put the tree back up or the, put the plant back up and try to take a, have a second take. It just doesn't work. So what we're going to do is we're going to give it, it's leaning, it's leaning this way a little bit. We're going to try to weaken it right about here. And hopefully it will just bend over. Sometimes you can use these extra leaves to help pull it down. So let's give it a start. How about that? Just call me one take Frank. These bananas are, ooh, they're beautiful. The, the actual stem started to break. So let me clear this up a little bit. So these are the bananas. One thing it's always good to do, chop that little off, little flower off, that's called the tail. And we will be on the way just a minute to harvest these bananas. Remember, do not get this sap or latex on you. You'll cause scar, uh, uh, staining on your shirt like I have in multiple times. My wife always laughs about it and I've ruined a lot of shirts that way. So anyway, we'll see you up at the house. All right, so we've got our hook here and we've got our cord. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna tie this right here. Nice tight knot. All right, they should be ready in about a week or so. We'll check back then. So people ask me all the time why we chop the entire tree down. Well, what happens is the last thing that this banana plant is going to do is uh, make this raceme or rack of bananas. That's, that's actually the last thing it does. It can't produce any more leaves. It can't produce any more fruit. So there's no reason for it to con continue to stand up and survive uh, because it will eventually die. So you go ahead and, and take it down. Um, in the meantime, you can see this right here is an Iho or a Pop or a Kiki. It's already halfway up. So it's gonna take the nutrition under the ground that's in the main corm or root of the main banana stalk, it's gonna use that and it's also gonna take the sunlight available to use for rapid growth. And this banana will probably be producing within the next year, super fast when it comes off of a mother plant and then it can uh, grow up with all this available sunlight and all the water and nutrition from the soil. So that's why we take down the entire plant. And in commercial banana plantations, it's only one mother plant and one baby plant. All the other pups or kikes or ihos are taken away and transplanted elsewhere or disposed of. All right, it's been about 10 days and I think the Cavendish bananas are ready. We keep them under this old shirt because the squirrel monkeys will come in and try to eat them. story. Okay. Oh, look at there. Beautiful Cavendish bananas. Peeling right off the stalk. Mm. All those are good. Anyway, 
thanks for watching the video. We'll have some more out soon. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe and hit the little bell icon. That way you'll be notified when the new videos come out. Thanks for watching. See you soon.